And Nobel laureate Professor Wole Shoinka says despite Nigeria's many problems, he cannot despair. He believes Nigeria's youth may have the energy and the know-how to get the troubled country back on track. Shoinka credits young Nigerians between 15 and 35 for trying to fundamentally reform the country. He cites the NSAS protest a year ago against police brutality. Shoinka won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1986, the first black African to do so. And now he's published a new novel, his first in almost 50 years. It's a parody of the real-life Nigeria of today under the leadership of President Mamadou Buhari. In 2015, Shoinka endorsed Buhari for president and asked Nigerians to forgive his past as a former dictator in the 1980s. Now, Shoinka is critical of Buhari. Buhari again is reinventing the wheel. Each ruler comes and says, oh yes, I'm listening to people and they want to change, therefore let's meet and tinker with the constitution rather than going deep inside and creating fashion in a totally different society than what was there before. None of them. Once they get into power, it's the same result. The author believes Buhari and his administration have been unable to tackle the extremist violence that's led to thousands of deaths and the mass kidnappings of school children. They refused to take action at the right time. They compromised. They even rhetoricized the, uh, the danger, the, the reality. In other words, they felt that just mere rhetoric could make it go away. Our children were kidnapped, and that didn't even wake us up. And we lost our humanity to the extent that we, we watch human beings being slaughtered for ritual. We lost our moral bearings. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.